come, you can come. Namaskaram. My name is Inder Bhavna. Yes, Inder. In the past, I have been watching myself about few things. And most of the things what I do is out of a lot of unawareness. I tend to do things which are more on the pleasure side. And when I go deeper, I reach to certain level and then again withdraw because sometimes it's scary when I check on myself the truth behind it, what my intention is. And I withdraw myself, I don't want to go beyond that. I have that inquisitive to go deeper, but it's sometimes it's scary, I, I don't know. So, how, how do I...? Well, it's scary because, you know, you are used to going with the ahankar, with the ego, for a large part of your life, Ayushman Bhava. And so, because you're used to going with the ahankar, doing all the things that are causing you suffering actually. A lot of it is causing you suffering. You think it's pleasure, but finally what is happening is it's causing you suffering. Yeah. Which is why you're questioning yourself. So, the practice is to actually try to... try to discern is this action that I want to undertake coming from the truth or is it coming from the ahankar? That... that question is what you have to ask. And of course it's a bit frightening because if the truth tells you to do something, then you know you have to do it. So you don't want to ask because what if you don't want to do it? Let's say you want to smoke a cigarette and you take the cigarette and smoke it without asking anything, but if you ask, the truth will say no, then you can't smoke the cigarette. That's why you're afraid to ask. You have to decide, do you want to live with the truth or no? It's your choice. The refusal to discern, to use the Viveka Buddhi to discern, that fundamental tamasic refusal is coming from whom? from Inder. Yeah. So Inder has to now make that decision. I would like to live a little bit more in the truth than I have done till now. Do you? Why do you want to live in the truth actually? Because some, something beyond that pleasure experience what I am looking for. Why? why? Why do you want that something beyond? Because this is the same, it's going on, there's nothing new for new, it's a routine what is going on. One you know, one of the reasons why you are actually looking for it is because you already know it. You already knew that experience of, of the Divine, you know, when you were a child. Maybe. At that time there was no ahankar, no? A small child, it doesn't have much ahankar, does it? No. So then what is propelling its action, moment to moment? Where is that action impulsing from? It's a truth in action. The Antar Atman is saying, go, come, yes, no, yes, no. To the child, the child is operating from an impulse which is not the ahankar. So you know it already, you know that you have an Antar Guru. You already know it, because you knew it as a child. So the reason why you are refusing the Antar Guru is because the ahankar, the ego is saying, Vaha mat jana indar. Agar aap vaha gaye, to aapko jhukna padega. Don't go there indar. If you go there, you'll have to bend. Better not to bend. You come with me, come, I'll take you. So your yearning is for something which you've known already in this life, that's the yearning. And if you want to go with that, then you can start once a day, only once a day, to ask the question, 
is this action of mine coming from the truth or is it coming from the ahankar, from the ego? Once you can ask. You want to try it? When you go and sit down, just ask a question. Just say you want to pick up something. Say, is this, is this impulse to action, is it coming from the truth? Or is it coming from the ahankar? If it is coming from the ahankar, the loud ahankar, you know, which says, nahi, nahi, karo, chalo, chalo, kuch nahi hoga, chalo, kha jao, pee jao, then you don't take that action. You try to see, is it coming from the, from that eternal impulse of the antaratma. Try it out once, any simple action, and then see. Then you can try it out twice. Would you like to try that? Yes, I would love to. And then tomorrow you try it out again once. And your posture is one of samarpan, it's to bend down, it's I am in samarpan, this indar is in samarpan and surrender to the antaratman, to the soul, to the living presence, to truth, to love, to the eternal. That's the dance, that's the state. Just one time, then then. And one day what will happen is you'll increase it, increase it and do it more and more and then It won't be such a challenge anymore, you won't be afraid. Take a, take a mirror or take a sticker, if you cannot afford a mirror, you buy a sticker or a postcard or anything of the mirror. Look at that symbol, it's a yantra of truth. Go and keep it in front of you and say, okay, now I want to go and once in a day ask myself, then you won't be afraid. Thank you.